Microcraft was founded in 1958. We design and build test hardware and flight hardware for the aerospace industry. The facility was originally started more around NASA than it was anybody. It was, it, we did a lot of hardware for NASA. We actually built the moon scoops that picked up the rocks on the moons, and just about every structural component on the space station was built here. We build a little bit of everything here, whether it be the engine components, the actual fuselage, the structure, the, the landing gear. All of that has to be modeled here and built here in order to make some of these aircraft that we build. We work for the Department of Defense, NASA, uh, Boeing, Lockheed, Raytheon, Northrop, you name it. One of the things that most people know us for was the X-43A aircraft. It was a Mach 10 uh, free flight aircraft. It flew off of a B-52. It uh, actually set the Guinness Book of World Records for the fastest air breathing aircraft ever built. I've been here almost 13 years and, and one of the things about Microcraft that, that is, is so, was so impressive to me then and also now is the amount of experience that, that's here. You just can't get that you know, by hiring somebody uh, that doesn't know much about this particular industry. So the workforce is very important. The guys here are very technically capable. We have engineers and machinists and QA people and quality people and the whole works. But they've also got a lot of artistic side to them or else you couldn't do this kind of work. And it really is enjoyable to watch them pull something together and make it turn into a product everybody's proud of. It gives you a nice sense of gratification that you know what you do actually makes a difference, what you, you know means something. The uh, 737, every aircraft has parts on it from Microcraft. Southwest Airlines, if you've flown Southwest, you've been on one of our, our aircraft. There's a lot of pride taken in what we do and, and the fact that it, that it may be on an airline that uh, all over the world is uh, it's important that it's done correctly. The F-22 test articles were built here, several of them. Uh, space shuttle uh, models, F-35 models, the C-130 models, C-5A, you just name it, they've built it. Aerospace is associated with this town and this area. And it's, uh, that's, uh, that's big for Tullahoma and for Tennessee. With technology coming out as fast as it has been, um, there's been new designs and new ways of doing things. With the new machines and new equipment, we're able to do stuff that they could only dream about years ago. It's pretty cool to be on the cutting edge. This hypersonics area is how we learn how to get out of our atmosphere. There's a lot of things percolating on that right now and I think just Tullahoma's in the right spot to be to learn a lot of that. Pun intended, the sky's the limit. I really believe that. 